blue and white interiors have always been in style and they will never go out of style. It's easy and it's beautiful. Just look up on any given day and you'll see that same color palette in nature. Join me as I review these two books together, Blue and White Living by Stephanie Hoppin and Blue and White in Your Home from the editors of Victoria Magazine. Blue and White Living is written by Stephanie Hoppin. She is the owner of Stephanie Hoppin Gallery in London. She is also a dealer of decorative antiques, books, and maps, and is an author of several books. She resides in London. Fresh and crisp with classic appeal, this book dabs into the world's most popular decorating scheme, from Chinese jars to European tiles to French fabrics. The deep blues and whites of Greece and the pastels of English Wedgwood. Blue and White Living shows you how to work with this palette in every room, whether it's through curtains, carpets, pillows, crystal, or porcelain. This combination of blue and white is always fresh, versatile, and timeless. While this book was published in 1992, 30 years ago, the designs in these rooms are timeless. With just a few accessory changes, they would compete with the pages of any modern design magazine today. This is my favorite photograph in the book, blue and white porcelain commodes. Where have they been all my life? The next book is Blue and White in Your Home from the editors of Victoria Magazine and forward by Peggy Kennedy. This book is very much like looking through the pages of Victoria Magazine with the beautiful vignettes that focus on detail. I always have the urge to make a trip to Whole Foods, purchase some flowers, fruit and cookies, and then come home and set a table for two with my nicest linen this book is no different, except the colors are all blue and white. These beloved colors of nature have been used to decorate homes throughout history. The combination appeals to everyone, fresh, clean, and immediately classic and contemporary at the same time. This color combination is easy to work with, from blues such as cobalt, aqua, sky, and powder blue. They all work well together. They create a refreshing ambiance and pretty combination. As Peggy Kennedy so eloquently writes in the foreword of this book, gathering the pieces for a blue and white room can resemble a United Nations conference. It's a combination that transcends borders and speaks any language. The palette works so well with so many periods and styles that we are delighted to find an almost endless array of possibilities. Blue and White in Your Home was published in 2002 by Hearst Books. It is 175 pages and I purchased it for $11 on Amazon. Blue and White Living by Stephanie Hoppin was published by Clarkson Potter's Publishers in 1992. It is 158 pages and I purchased this book for $5 on Amazon. In our little parts of the world, we all try to make it a little more beautiful. Some things we think are more beautiful than others, like a reproduction painted French wall panel, a silver Tiffany's frame, a clock from a vacation in Italy, an heirloom ring in a heron dish, a luxury soap, 
or a trinket that only we know the meaning behind. A favorite candle that smells like the gardens at Versailles. A favorite place. A dime store scarf that belonged to your grandmother. A divine chocolate. Or the picture of someone who owns your heart. These are a few things that I think are more beautiful. Join me for my next video as we review more beautiful all-American decoration.